Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM. I don't think I'll play late at night like I did in the last video again. Because I was not very sharp. I think I got everything wrong in that. And I got ridiculously lucky when I eventually did manage to put that uh, very large to bed. Uh, which means the aftermath of that is that Africa Base is seriously short on named soldiers. And these guys are in psionic training. Which is why I don't really want to send them out. Now I can do two things. I can order new soldiers and name them, but that will require me going through the list. I just have about half an hour for this today, so I don't have time for that. Another solution is to transfer some of the named guys from this base, there are plenty here, just checked, to Africa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guys! And you can walk there apparently because it takes zero money to get you there. No first class flights for you guys. You just get on your bicycle and get there. Uh, let's see, what else are we doing? Fusion missiles coming along average. Once that's done, I'll do Graf Shield and make the bases a fortress. Especially the little ones will get like three or four fusion defenses and uh, a Graf Shield. That way they'll never be destroyed. And we're getting more and more secure. The reason I'm playing it like this is because you take blows to the organization on Superhuman, as you have noticed. And you need to be able to cushion it. And, and, uh, and we're getting there. We are becoming a force. However, there is the, the item bug in the game that so far has um, negated us getting a commander. It was, I think, in the alternative video, in the other footage of video 27, where a commander was not able to remain at rest after I stunned him. We eventually just loaded the hack away and we shot him in the back. Um, eventually, we do need a commander. Now, there is a way I can do that in game, I think. Let's start playing while I chat. I can do that in-game, I think, without having to use uh, XCOM utilities eventually, and that is destroy items on the map before I try to stun the club. I think that will actually work, but it's quite a hassle, and if it boils down to that, um, I won't be too best pleased about it. But we'll have several more opportunities for commander before I give it up. And I will never give it up, I will try to get it in different ways. Devilkin still wounded. And Mufatu, I remember now, was just kicking ass like a madman lately. Did he survive? Or was he in the other base? Mufatu 3. Oh, it would be a damn shame if he died. I don't remember him dying, but that happens to me quite often. And this was the place for Mufatu 2. I think we've run out of Mufatu. We're fresh out of Mufatu here. Yeah, I don't see him. That doesn't mean he's not there, but I, I think he's perished somewhere. Oh well. We'll build a new one. Feel very chatty and not very gamey. Let's change that. Sonic Laboratory USA. How's this base looking? Oh yeah, this will be uh, reserved for defenses. I think one side can actually go. So it is in use apparently. Not too sure why. We have 10 in one side. Oh well. Production of hangar at USA General Store. I think we'll leave it at this for five. I want uh, decent defenses here. And I want one, two, three, four spots for the fusion defenses and one for the grass shield, which means I don't have the room for six hangers. But five will do. And if we even build more adventures than we can fit here, we'll outfit a second base for this. But I doubt we'll get there. Alien retaliation. That sounds like something that needs to be plunged into the ocean. This month has taken a, a turn for the worse. With all the casualties, I wanted to get through the month on the current batch of soldiers. We're still gonna try that. But the more UFOs we plunge into the ocean, the better. I wonder what the average is of soldiers lost in a mission. I guess it's two. It's just my guesstimation. Alien terror in South America. And it's filled with snakes. Large scouts. There's a small chance we destroy it midair. Yeah, it's looking for a place to land. I don't think this will go over the ocean. And this is in the jungle. Not too fond of that. This is over farmland. And now it landed. Damn it. I could have uh, followed it, I guess, and, and got it intact. Fusion ball defenses. Now we can research the fusion defense, which we will. Uh, I think I'll split it 50-50 between fusion defense and graph shields. 
And let's secure our bases, make them a fortress that they can't penetrate. Okay, it immediately got up. Actually, if it gets up, it will probably bugger off over the ocean, right? Or will it land again? Uh, in case it lands again. And let's do the interceptor from Africa as well. Yeah, you go supply. I have now two interceptors on them. This was right on time, right on cue. If it lands again, it's gonna be a night mission, I fear. Now there comes the daylight. I do suspect it will land a second time. Yes, it will. I will play it. Because there is Illyrium here, and we also have some people without power suits, I'd say. Let's make sure they get home safely. Ah, XCOM. I've been creating a bit of a backlog in videos. I am way into the past for you at the moment. And uh, that is because um, there is a bit of a holiday planned. Oh, you're close. And by the end of April, start of May, I'll be in Italy for a while. Which I'm very much looking forward to. But um, I found out that you can upload videos and then set them to planned and it will just be released at the proper date. People probably knew that for ages, I didn't. But it's quite a handy option and I'm trying to just set it on a one day release video and if all went well, until like the 5th or 6th of May, this, this video should be out at, at, at about that date, I hope. If I did the math right. Uh, you guys will not notice that I'm on holiday, except for the fact that I will probably stop responding. Um, like I said in the previous video, I'm kind of an analog kind of guy, which means if I go on holiday, my cell phone is off. I won't bring a laptop, I won't do any work. Holidays are for holidays. That was a grenade. And LL Phoenix is t taking it like a man here. Can you some help? Somehow you got some shrapnel in your face. That's probably not gonna improve your looks, but we never hired you at XCOM because of the, uh, your looks. We hired you for your ability to withstand shrapnel to the face. And you did that quite nice. Yeah, I've never been to Italy before. It's still uh, my, one of the things on my wish list. I'm going to visit Rome for a couple of days. Uh, I'm going to Pompeii, of course. I hear there's a whole movie about it at the moment, uh, but it's, I think, more like an action movie than uh, something historically accurate, so I'm not too sure I'll see it. Let me know if it's any, any good if you've seen it. I've always had a soft spot for the Roman Empire. It's a nice piece of history, I think. Not that I'm a big fan of the Empire itself, but uh, slightly even. Okay, that's... that's the stun launcher to the face. It's something we can handle. A horse will be a bit dizzy after the mission, but he'll be fine. Yeah, it will be interesting to see some of the ruins and all that stuff. It's probably going to be a bit of a cultural holiday. I'm getting older, so it's not like I only go on holiday with friends to drink a lot of beer anymore. That's what it used to be. It's a nice intact large scout here. I like the fact that we were able to get it in the desert. It's very friendly of them to land in the desert. And so far, no casualties except for a horse being uh, out cold at the moment. Hello, aliens. Both of them not facing us. It's kind of lucky. 27, 21. You can step out after shooting him, right? Not? Okay. In that case, we better finish them off. Nice. Uh, these three will s uh, clear you of uh, I think uh, all the aliens left are probably inside. Damn it! It was a hit, and uh, it's a good hit. Bloody aliens. Let's fix Abibo up as well. There will be some people in Mad Bay, but if that's the only thing that's that's going wrong here. Oh. Ooh. So far I'm getting lucky, I think. Who shot what? 
Is there still one outside? Now you guys without armor stay inside because it's dangerous out here. The firing accuracy of these guys is affected a bit. But so far they are kicking ass. Like nothing is wrong. We're also getting lucky with the fact these aliens are facing away from us. That's it. Clean run, right? Yeah. 50 Illyrium. A bunch of sergeants. I say that's worthy of a mid physio save. On screen save. There we go. Let's change the saving policy just ever so slightly. Snake Man are gonna infiltrate North Africa and that Sky Ranger is on its way back. This Sky Ranger is quite healthy. And it's just getting dark in Africa. If the thing lingers a little bit, we might get it intact, but not gonna play it at night. So patrol a bit. Medium harvest. That's actually a lot more interesting. Double the Illyrium. Triple the fun. You can just shoot them down. We don't like infiltration missions. This is our way of showing that. Now let's hope this. Yeah, this is by night. Damn it. Okay, this is. Let's hope this thing lands quick. This is the very large version of that uh, medium over there. I like how they just harvest with battleships. Um, this will not be by daylight. And it's a mutant battleship, I'm definitely not going to do it at night. Which means, well, uh, let's patrol. Maybe it will land twice. And this thing uh, will just plunge down again. It should be at low altitude, so it might be worth uh, playing this one. That's very large. Immediately left. Okay. We'll uh, do a cleanup job. We're in the neighborhood. And we might get lucky and get even more Illyrium. Who knows? There's no command or anything on this, so Humvee, you can uh, drop the mine probe. Oh yeah, there were mutants. <coughs> Not floaters, which means this might be uh, a tough one, actually. I mean, with floaters, it's not a cookie either, but uh, mutants are pretty damn ugly. And tough. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You can't move, okay, the rest has to move around you then. Okay, this is this, turning out very ugly if you guys keep missing. Nice. Uh, can you do it again? That's a nice trick, thank you. Yeah, mutants are very active. They start out all over the place. They're not the type to sit on their ass twiddling their thumbs in the UFO waiting for help. Oh! Holy shit. One, two. Don't move. I said don't move. <laughs> so unlucky. Uh, yeah, let's shoot the guy that's shooting us. And then move, because there's a second one. He's not facing us yet, but if we don't kill him right away, he'll turn around. Nice. Nice, I think we're gonna need everybody here, but let's unload not too much. There was a grenade, I think. Uh, once again, we take it like a bunch of tough guys here. Nobody had any shrapnel to the face? No, we're unscathed. No line of fire. Okay. You should have a line of fire. You have a better angle. I think this was the guy carrying the grenade. This is why he uh, doesn't appear to have a weapon. I think Horst explained it on a comment a while ago. Which is one of the things I really love about this series, reading you guys' comments. Brilliant. I'm not in this for uh, please subscribe and like and all that jazz. It always bugs me when people do that. But I am in this for the comments. I love the interaction. I love the fact that you guys notice stuff that I just completely are oblivious to. This is 
in the UFO, I think. Well, it's just behind it. It's a bit of a tough, tough angle to shoot at. Um, and we have one over there still. We should have a decent firing angle on them. If we find somebody with some time units. Older, you got one shot at this. Nice. You got one shot at this, and that would have been it. I was not expecting to kill that one this round, but we pull off the rather steep angle there. I think I'm developing, developing a bit of a cold. It feels very weird, it's my first cold without my tonsils. My throat feels uh, very strange when I talk. Is that another grenade? Yes, it was another grenade. They're tossing around like candy. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird angle. Probably could have better taken the shots here with uh, the Crimson Baron. Got a better angle. Ah, we already spotted him. Yeah, let's let's make these woods uh, uh, devoid of mutants, shall we? Because I've seen enough grenade chucking to last me a mission. And somehow they're not really effective, those alien grenades. It's probably just dumb luck. It's the, uh, the power suit's hard at work. But let's not stretch, stretch our luck. I mean, this whole Let's Play is like a test of Murphy's Law. For some people it's uh, more effective than others, but you can see that eventually Murphy kills all. And the complete original guard uh, eventually also got wiped out. Thinking of uh, Private Creeper 1 and the Alchemist. Yeah, let's go up next round in force. Because that is a death trap up there. I might even contemplate just waiting them out and setting up a little ambush down here. Yeah, they're moving about. Which means I can set up a little ambush. Okay, it's not able to walk over. Uh, let, let's, let's have them move a bit. Yeah, we're just gonna wait him out. Guys, it's okay to shoot him. Don't be ashamed now. Oh! These things have bloody reflexes. I have to start moving. Oh, hello. Usually this is empty. Really surprised me to find him there. Oh, that's it. We lost three, right? Four. Well, that's a bit too much for a mission where we don't get any Illyrium for my taste. Still, it's a big mission. Sky Ranger 2 can use a few extra crewmen. As you can see, it doesn't matter which base you're stationed. You might end up anywhere. Alien research in the Arctic. Study this, bastards. These are plasma beams. We can do some tests on that. We plunge it into uh, the Arctic Ocean, I think. We'll do a little cleanup job here as well. I probably should just leave these to rot for this month, but. Uh, I may be a sloppy game player, but. I don't like to be so new. Damn. And we don't see anything. That's just freaky. Sothos is hurt bad. We never saw an alien yet. But 
they're definitely facing our way, it's not just one. Okay, we spot it at least. If we spot it, we can hit it. There's still aliens reacting. Which means this mission is already way too expensive, unless we get lucky and there's a lyrium in here. You don't see him, well, you can just shoot him. Yeah, everything's facing our way. This is a very unlucky start. And this guy's just behind a little hill as well. That's how pro newbie you can kill him, because it's a pretty damn steep angle to shoot at. Yeah, we're not pulling it off. Last chance. Whoo! Too close for comfort. But I think we did clean out the entire uh, outer area of the UFO here. Yeah? And every single one of these bastards was facing us. Ah, oh, there's one more. They also react like, like, insane! It is what makes this difficulty level difficult, I think. All that reaction, fire, the randomness, the fact that you really can train up a soldier and, and, and hug him until the end of the game. The game simply won't let you, unless you place somebody in the back of the Sky Ranger and leave him there. But then again, what's the point? Oh yeah, we need to uh, fix our buddy here. How long can you last? Okay, you're bleeding out slowly. It's just a flash wound. You have just volunteered to enter the UFO, though. And only shot in the arm. <laughs> Everything's facing our way. This is horrible. Yeah, you didn't even kill one. But it is intact. There is delirium in this thing, so we're probably breaking even here. But it's, 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 I tend to call it a bit of a horror mission. Okay, you guys, it's okay to move, you know? Okay, at least it didn't react now, and that's it. Four guys dead, I think. Three this time, okay. But we walk away with some Illyrium. Both Sky Rangers returning home uh, are kind of bombed out. Okay, here are powers plenty. I think here is where the crisis is still in effect, but we're building them, right? Oh yeah, 42. That's amazing. That's actually plenty. 42 in backup, look at that. I told you those 250 engineers would come in handy. Stop this for the moment, build uh, two plasma beams for the first Avenger. You can do that with 90, that should be done really quickly. What else do we need? Um, Siams. Now stop it at exactly 200 Illyrium. Uh, let's do 30. I don't think I've built these at all, right? Let's build them for both bases here. Retaliation Africa. Uh, he's not heading towards um, the ocean, I think. Let's see if we can get him over uh, a bit of water. No. No, just go down. It's a small scout, we'll clean it up. Retaliation Pacific. Even this base has pissed off aliens now. Nicely in the Pacific Ocean. Plasma beam is done. You guys can help out with the Siams then. Uh, let's transfer those plasma beams uh, to Europe, so we can arm it and then uh, transfer it. Oh yeah, that problem again. Uh, let's transfer the plasma beams to the USA then, because that is where they are going. It's a good thing that you can um, overexert your stores without problem. You can just keep on stacking crap in there like alien alloys and delirium and, and all that jazz. It will uh, never actually be crammed that you won't get your loot, but if you want to transfer something, yeah, it, it needs to be in order. 
this one is okay. This one is indeed full, yeah. I guess I could build another general store, right? Other than some defenses here, I don't really need anything. Research is progressing. Yeah, let's do the cleanup job and then I think I'll call it a video. This is a bit overkill again. This uh, affects your firing accuracy, so don't do that crap. It may look cool. Okay, we're playing XCOM. There we go again. I really wonder if we can make it through the month if I keep doing these cleanup missions with people I have. It's getting a bit expensive. Then again, we have 42 power suits in reserve. All I need to do is just order new soldiers and name them. And that's a bit of a weird angle. Steel spawn can move out of the way. I guess it can't hurt to try. You can take a snapshot, that's it. Pretty good shooting. I heard a door. I don't like doors. Come on, people. You guys are such horrible shots sometimes. Of course, some of you are rookies again. Reincarnated soldiers. Can't take a snapshot like this. We already moved. I don't think people have the time units to scale this angle here and still take a shot. Now that went okay. Private creeper is shot in the face. Let's fix him up because he's bleeding badly. He doesn't have the health to do that uh, for a while. Get the revenge. But now we have a bit of a firing squad here, it should be no problem. And I think that's the last one, yep. One guy in sick bay and one guy dead. And apparently one of the snake men lived. Plasma beams, very nice. Hangar is completed. We are ready to receive our Avenger, which will be six days. That will change the playing field quite a bit. Retaliation in Europe. I don't think we'll get this one over the water. We try. Yep, excellent. I don't like playing large scouts. Too much hassle. I didn't check the mission. Retaliation as well. Go on, fly over one of the Great Lakes or something. Excellent, bye bye. Ethereals, never gonna play this one. North America as well. That's the one fear I have that they attack one of my bases, one of our bases. With the battleship loaded with ethereals, because that is the one mission you cannot avoid. And that's why I want fusion defenses and graph shields in a hurry. Once those things are in place, uh, don't, don't, gonna get you over any lake or anything like this, right? Change course, come on. I'm not gonna play it even if I don't plunge it into the ocean. Yeah, we're not located in Miami. We should have built it on Miami Beach, maybe. Excellent, it's over the water. Maybe if you have the right idea. Cyan is done. Anything else we need? With 30 Cyan's we have way uh, more than we need. That's all we're gonna need for the entire game. We could build some blaster bombs, but we'll, we'll, we'll just find them somewhere. Yeah, I think it's back to laser pistols. And before this month is over, I will also need to do some serious selling of all kinds of crap. I think I'll do this in this video still, because 
I uh, still have a couple of minutes. Yeah, let's clean up a bit. Because we don't need 105 <laughs> heavy plasma. Uh, let's keep the blaster bomb. This is Africa base, you don't do any research here, let's get rid of it. All this crud. 40 power suits, that's pretty damn sweet. Still need to research these. 21 small launches. Also a lot of corpses. I still need to research these corpses, so we'll leave one. And navigation and power source I guess we need as well, but we don't need this many navigations. There we go. Uh, we keep one. 46 million in the bank. And we get 12 from the countries. I'd say it's going rather well. I'm tempted to play on for a little bit, but I, I see I will get phone calls and stuff like that because I have to get going in a little bit. Which means it's just a half hour recording session for today. Thank you very much for watching guys, and uh, next time you'll see me, um, might be in the far distant future for me. I have no idea yet when I'll have more time. See you later.